Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. That will be super helpful video guys. If you have a BMW guys, I'm talking about BMW 5 series and you're trying to do oil change on generation F10 guys. That should cover the generation between year 2000 and 10, 11 guys, all the way to year 2017. So we'll explain guys what we need for the oil change, what you're going to do, how you're going to do all that. Uh, we're going to explain how to check your oil level after that, something super important because you don't have a dipstick and how to make sure that you have uh, the uh, enough oil guys and uh, what oil you guys need to use that meets the specifications otherwise you can uh, really damage your engine as well guys another thing i'll share something very important towards the end that can save you five to ten thousand dollars on future repairs especially if you have the 520 or 528 make sure guys you stand till the end before we start let me tell you if you need to buy oil or filter guys anything that we use we'll share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out guys we get them for a really good price quick shipping as well number two guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos and specifically on this bmw we'll have even more why we do uh, we do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you so let's explain what we have here guys okay and, we'll, and what we're going to need actually for the oil change now uh, guys we'll recommend okay put your car in park level ground always use tire chokes i'll recommend to have that on the rear tires okay on the uh, driver and the passenger side left and right side that way the car is not going to roll on you uh, but always be extremely extremely careful uh, you can just do the oil change by jacking one side up only guys okay one side up on this side and i'll recommend always to use a jack stand never rely on the jack itself because if it fails and you don't have a jack stand it will smash you if you're under the car so always put the jack stand as well i use the jack and the jack stand just in case double protection now uh, something else guys if you need to buy new jack stands this is super pump low profile jack i'll put the link again in the description of the video below now with all that being said we can actually access everything underneath so let me turn the light on and we'll show you guys what we have here so let me move that okay uh, that thing right here and you can see how the car is dripping oil if you have that problem we will explain what causes that and how to fix it something super super simple guys usually right there now you're going to have a cover okay ours is missing if you have the cover you will have to remove it the moment you remove that cover guys okay you're going to get a torx torx bin and it's pretty big bin okay let me show you which one we have here now okay we're going to get it out okay this one right here uh, this is a torx uh torx torx let me see which size 10 torx 10 i'll put uh, link in the description of the video below again so you can check it out where we get it from now uh, some people do the oil change when the car is hot some do it on a cold engine we personally let it uh, we started for about five minutes but uh guys always be extremely careful okay not to burn yourself turn the engine off make sure that you don't have exhaust anything in the way make sure you don't burn yourself so we'll go ahead get it loose now we're removing the, the drain plug and uh, the moment you remove it i recommend always use gloves okay high protection and if the engine is hot the oil will be hot and it can severely burn you that's a plastic o-ring make sure that uh, okay we just dropped it uh, the o-ring guys uh, the, the drain plug comes with an o-ring make sure the o-ring is not stuck on the oil pan we will let it drain for about uh, five to ten minutes make sure everything comes out and we'll continue guys so next guys we're going to open the hood okay and it's still draining on the bottom we'll explain why we need to do that we're going to remove the oil filter this is the 528 uh 528i if you have 520 528 xi guys uh, procedure will be exactly the same if you have different ones procedure will be very very similar now there is a special wrench that i'll put the link to that you can use but um, uh, we're in the process of moving to a different location different shop now uh, we don't have it so we'll just use the pliers okay but you can damage your cap that way so i recommend to use the special tool uh, it's very inexpensive and i'll put the link in the description of the video below it's amazing too guys so uh, that being said okay we're going to remove the oil now oil filter 
Now, the moment you start lifting it up, more oil will drain in the oil pan. This is because you have some oil in the oil filter housing and as a result, okay, that oil okay, will drain back in the oil pan. And even though it's been draining for a while, okay, you see that we're getting even more now out. This is because of that uh, oil filter. So, get a plastic bag, always recycle those guys. Filters, take them to a center that recycles them, check out all the oil that's going back to the oil pan. Okay, perfect. And um, now, okay, you can see all that is going back down. So, now, Let's see what we have here, the new filter. I'll put the link to the original BMW filter where you can get it for a really, really good price, guys. Original BMW certified filter. You can see with the hologram here, and I'm going to put the link in the description of the video below. Really good price, actually got me two. And it's a MAN filter. You can see it says MAN filter, but it's original BMW package. It comes, okay, with two different, okay, with uh, two, different rings one is for the cap one is for we'll show you there and it comes with a, a washer for the drain plug but some engines will have a plastic drain plug like ours does some don't so we'll explain guys okay about that as we go so we'll go ahead okay remove that o-ring let's remember where it was okay not the very top canal the one underneath it we're going to put the oil filter out okay now we have one more that we need to replace okay right here you can see so we're going to get this one out as well let's see if we can do it with hands or we need to actually go ahead and get a small screwdriver or a small knife to actually okay pull that one out so but careful not to break the old filter housing right okay so we'll get a small knife guys and we'll continue okay we got a small knife so we can finally okay finally remove that o-ring we're going to install a new one and those are very important o-rings the top one actually guys okay it's super important due to the fact that it doesn't let oil seep out of the oil cap for that filter the bottom one is the one that keeps actually uh, the pressure okay oil pressure so otherwise it is going to drain back in the oil pan and uh, that could be that could be catastrophic guys because you will have dry starts what that means when you start a car that hasn't uh, a car that hasn't been driven for a long time it will not have enough oil pressure and that could lead to uh, engine failures such as uh, main bearings rod bearings damage to the cylinder head quite a, quite a bit of problems guys now we're going to apply a little bit of oil to the o-rings with our finger this oil guys it's the magic right here green oil uh, that's the leaky molly molly again okay this is amazing stuff guys this is one of the best oils that we've used and uh, it meets the specifications for that bmw i'm going to talk about that in a little bit okay it's actually green in color you're going to see in a little bit and we're going to apply a little bit okay perfect and now we're going to get the filter okay the filter is practically the same on both sides so it doesn't matter which one you put in okay push it good make sure it goes good now we're going to install it on the housing and we can get it tight now it's still draining on the bottom that's perfectly fine and if you have the special tool actually it will be really good for you due to the fact that you will be able to uh, use the torque wrench and you will be able to torque it down to 20 uh, to uh, 25 plus 5 newton meters so uh, what uh, what that means okay you set the torque wrench and when you hear the click you stop uh, we will show you how to use the torque wrench in a little bit on the actually on the open and uh, if you need to buy one i'll definitely recommend it so because if you have a plastic open you can easily damage that we've seen quite a few damage and uh, believe me guys it's a nightmare to replace it we made a special video how to replace it and uh, we have it on the channel but it takes quite a bit of work so okay this one is ready tight so we gotta make sure that okay it's compressed all the way now we're ready to go on the inside we're going to go ahead and close it now now guys a common problem on those things will be a leaking drain plug this is because people will often damage the 
uh, the oil pans or they'll get them too tight they'll mess up the thread a little bit but they sell three different oversized okay three different oversized drain plugs that are a step bigger uh, and uh, almost not noticeable with uh, with your eye guys but it prevents them from leaking so if you have that problem we started dripping a little bit on ours uh, and i'll order some but i've used them in the past and i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them so please check it out now we have the torque wrench according to that thing it says that we need to go at about eight newton meters max eight newton meters so we have the torque wrench set at eight and once we reach that torque what will happen you will hear the wrench click the moment it clicks stop immediately because if you over torque it okay you can severely damage your oil pan so we're going to go all the way underneath now okay install the plug okay and we're going to start getting actually uh, getting that thing, uh, thing tight you will see in just a second so okay let's see where the plug went it's all the way towards the back okay great now uh, we have the ratchet right here and we're about to start the moment you hear the click stop guys immediately this is a plastic oil pan listen now okay listen for that click okay that's it don't go too much okay perfect that's it okay and we're done underneath here so uh, what we can do get out of the car okay we can drop everything okay we can uh, just bring the car down make sure nobody's underneath it we can release the jack and we can continue with the next step all right so we're ready guys to continue with the next step so what we're going to do now we're going to remove the jack stand okay and we're going to drop the car down okay check it out now next guys you need to always consult your manual you need to guys consult your manual and make sure that uh, the oil that you're using meets the bmw specifications if you want to see where to get original bmw oil we'll put the link in the description of the video below but we love that oil guys it's green it's amazing uh, really good qualities you can see more about it on the back really really amazing product guys and uh, right here guys you can see the uh, okay the standards that it meets bmw long wife up to year 2018 mercedes-benz fiat opel porsche renault and volkswagen as well so i'll go ahead okay and we'll go ahead and put oil now so okay guys now uh, you always need to check your oil capacity but what do we usually do okay and that's why it's a good idea to watch the video make sure guys that everything's good and uh, you're not going to screw up your car remove the oil cap now a weak spot on these engines is the timing chain something i wanted to talk uh, to you about guys that can cost you five to ten thousand dollars that's a new timing chain guide new timing chain we just did the video guys how to replace the timing chain and all that stuff uh, because otherwise okay certain bmws okay with that engine can fail okay the timing chain failed and it did fail on this one and it had only 87,000 miles guys fortunately we didn't uh, mess anything up all we had to do we install a new chain but uh, not very many people are lucky like we were so what i would recommend check out guys we have a special video that explains the timing chain problem i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below also guys we have a special video that explains how to replace it a guide from step one to the very end that will teach you how to do your timing chain so check out guys okay that oil now that oil is simply guys simply amazing okay we're in love with that thing green oil guys okay check it out and i haven't seen something like that in a long time found it on online and we'll put the link in the description of the video below we'll put five liters five liters of engine oil that's about five point three quarts and uh we'll see if that's enough make sure it's stand to the end we'll show you how to check the oil level even if you don't have the dipstick those engines don't have dipstick you can still check your oil level so we'll go ahead okay and we'll just add the oil okay and we'll continue all right so that's it guys okay we're empty here careful not to hit your head on this thing when we did the timing chain replacement okay both of us smashed our head on that thing probably about 200 times all the time so let's see okay what it looks like on the inside okay perfect you can see with the clean timing chain guide and everything so we're going to go ahead close it okay and we'll show you guys okay what we need to do next so next step we're going to go inside 
and I'll show you okay what we have right here guys okay check it out we're going to go ahead and start the car that's what you need to do make sure the oil light is not on okay oil light it shouldn't be on if it's on stop the car immediately if you have a warning that relates to oil pressure or anything like that turn the car off immediately guys we don't have any of those problems what we'll do now okay with the iDrive I'm going to select confirm next you need to click menu check it out menu then we're going to go okay let me turn the light off I'm going to uh, scroll down okay until we get to vehicle info enter the button push down next screen we're going to go to vehicle status select vehicle status next guys go to okay right here let me show you where that says measure engine oil now uh, right here we're going to click ok it says measurement only possible while engine is at operating temperature and switch on and vehicle is parked on level surface we're on level surface select parking or neutral do not pre press accelerator so now it's in park what we'll do guys now okay we're going to let it idle we put five liters of oil guys we'll let it idle when the oil temperature start raising okay and when the start right here turns white it means that we can check the oil level so we'll wait for that we'll let the car idle for a little bit and we'll continue and show you what you need to do next so now guys it's been probably about five minutes you can see the oil temperature uh, just started moving okay you can see right there so now uh, let me turn the light off start measurement is white i'll click on that car is in park okay and uh, you can see it's going to rev the rpms to about 1100 rpms while it's doing that i'm not pressing the pedals or anything like that so we're just waiting now okay let me just turn the light down a little bit so you can see a little bit better perfect and uh, right now it's at uh, 20 okay 29 30 30 percent so it's going to take uh, probably about i don't know probably about a minute to do the measurement and we'll see exactly how much our oil level is and if we need to add some so uh, remember we put the whole jug five liters so we'll see okay if that is enough or definitely uh, we'll need more so hopefully hopefully we don't but that way you will be prepared so it really depends on how well you drain your system as well ours we drain it quite a bit probably it stayed 20 minutes open we uh, waited until it was barely barely dripping and if you level your car we'll get even probably a little bit more out of it so okay always always have to make sure that the oil level is good make sure you don't have oil leaks make sure the oil filter is not leaking as well 100 percent okay test and now our oil level is at max guys right at maximum so we are definitely okay ready to go definitely that took care of the problem so hopefully guys the video will be helpful into uh, uh, finding out how to do an oil change on bmw guys uh, f10 or bmw with that four cylinder and 20 engine hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time